Welcome to another upload from Quicksand TV. And right now I am in front of a 77 inch LG C2. And the topic for this video is gonna be one that I've done a couple of videos on already. Kind of a frustrating topic here, which is going to be how to get Dolby Atmos to work properly with your LG C2, your Apple TV 4K, and your Sony receiver. Now, the specific Sony receiver model, I'll go ahead and reference it again, it's the STR-DH790, I'll repeat it, STR-DH790 model. And let me kind of walk through the settings that I have on the LG, and then I'm gonna show the settings that I have on the Apple TV 4K, and then I'm gonna even talk about how the Sony receiver is set up. And let's see if we can get to the bottom of why I can only get Dolby Atmos if I'm using the TV apps on WebOS and not an external streaming device. So let's start with the LG. Let's go ahead and get into the settings here. Let's go to sound. Sound output is HDMI ARC device. Let's go to advanced settings. Right away, you notice all of this is grayed out. Come on. Let's go in here to select HDMI input audio format. As I sound like a robot. All right, so first thing you'll notice, this is HDMI 3 that's active right now, the Apple TV 4K. I have it set to bitstream. As my understanding is, this has to be enabled bitstream to enable Atmos uh, passable audio as opposed to PCM. Okay. The other thing that I thought was kind of tricky was I have my receiver on HDMI 2. Now it's grayed out because I'm not on that input right now, but you'll notice I also have this set up as Bitstream just to make sure that I didn't have this set up incorrectly and that was somehow preventing it. So let's back out. Digital sound output, pass through. I can click on it. My understanding is this should be set to pass through. Now I will say, just through trial and error, the only time I've been able to get this TV with all of these devices connected to show Atmos up here in the corner, one time for a split second, I had this set to auto. But it didn't work consistently. It, would, it flashed to Dolby Atmos up here, and then it quickly changed its formatting back. So that's not the solution. PCM is not the solution either. My understanding is to get this to work properly, allegedly, it needs to be on pass-through. Clearly I'm on pass-through. And then of course, I have eARC support checked on because, you know, I'm looking for Atmos. So let me go ahead and uh, cancel out of that. Let's take a look at the Apple TV 4K settings, shall we? So I'm already on the settings. I'm already, well, okay. I'm already in video audio. Let's go down to audio. Now, let's start with audio output. I don't know if this has anything to do with it. I'm hoping that by putting this on the video, somebody might recognize and say, hey, dummy, you've got this set up wrong. For the audio output, it says receiver speakers. My understanding is that's the way it should be set up. The other option would be TV speakers. I go to this temporary audio output. Let's go into it. This is what I get. Uh, Apple TV 4K not playing, receiver speakers, and Apple TV 4K. Maybe I need to check Apple TV 4K, I don't know. Hopefully you'll drop a comment below and let me know if that's what I need to do. Let's back out of here. Audio format, you'll see it says auto. I have it on auto so that the TV and the streaming, uh, external streaming device can sync up and say, this is Adobe Atmos title it's playing, so the audio format should be Atmos. If it's a non-Atmos title, it won't play in Atmos. Like, that's all I'm really looking for here. If I go in here, if I were to do this change format, it's going to want me to force, let's just do it, who cares? It's gonna want me to force Dolby Digital 5.1 on everything. That's not, that's not what I'm looking for here. So, now, the noteworthy thing here on this is, if you haven't checked out my other videos, um, fortunate enough, I also have a Sony A80J OLED with an Apple TV 4K on that, 
as well as the exact same receiver as that's here, the STR DH790. When I go into the settings on the video and audio on that Apple TV, on that TV out there, it actually shows me auto comma at most available, I believe it says. So I know that there's a disconnect here somewhere. So lastly, let's talk about how I have the settings done on my receiver. And I'm gonna click the display button on the remote. And I have the receiver set to multi ST. Is that multi stereo or multi station? I'm not sure, honestly, I'm not an audiophile. Uh, that's how it's set up there. And then that's it as I scroll through the display options on the display. So I have it set in multi, multi stereo, I think it is. Someone can comment if that's going to cause a problem with getting Atmos to be able to be played. But I really don't think so because I also have it set on multi ST on the receiver on the ADJ setup and it plays Atmos just fine. As a matter of fact, when I go to play the Atmos movie, it'll stream across the bottom of the, or across the display screen on the receiver, Dolby Atmos or whatever. When I do the same thing on this setup for the LG C2, it just says Dolby Audio dash Dolby Surround. So at the end of all of this, is this some sort of deal breaker on this setup or, or buying the LG C2? No, that's not, my purpose here isn't to drag LG and the LG C2 and say, go buy the Sony because you can get Dolby Atmos on your external device. The video here is more of an open rant a little bit and to show you how I have the settings set up on the TV, on the uh, external streaming device and the receiver in a hopes of the community being able to provide some input on if they were able to get the Dolby Atmos flag to appear in the top right hand corner of the screen and it works, it functions properly, let me know what your settings are on each device and I would be happy to try those out. But rant over, video concluding. If you enjoyed anything about it, hit the like button, helps the visibility of the channel, the video especially. Uh, if you're new here, if you're uns unsubscribed, hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification, turn it on so you know when I do an upload. Those things don't cost you any money. All those things support the channel. So until the next one.